Hello. So I want to make a little quick tip um, on how I make my acrylic thinner for thinning paints for the airbrush. Um, the holiday season, a lot of you may have gotten an airbrush for Christmas, and I just wanted to uh, share my recipe with you. So here we go. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to get a large bottle, or bottle of any size really, and you just want to follow the same ratios that I'm going to do. So this is just like a sort of like a condiment or like squirt bottle that I got at the grocery store. It's got a nice good cap on it. You're going to want to use water. Um, I have distilled water just because the water here in California is very hard. There's a lot of minerals and it can get in your airbrush if you don't clean it enough and sort of dry and leave some sediment behind sometimes. So I always think, just think it's best to use like distilled water. You're going to want some of this Liquitex matte medium, which is basically just like the paint medium that the paint pigment sits in. It dries clear, um, dries matte, pretty simple. And then you're going to want some of this flow aid. Um, I'm using the Liquitex brands for both of these. There's some other brands. You can get these at like Michael's or any art store really. Um, and the flow aid just sort of improves the flow of the paint and thins it down a little bit. So, uh, you just want to follow the same ratios regardless of how big of a bottle you're making. The ratios are about mm, 50 to 60% is going to be our matte medium. About 40 to 30% is going to be our distilled water. And then that last 10% is going to be flow aid. And you might want to leave a little bit of air in the top just so that you can uh, get a little bit of extra space to sort of swish it around. So let's go ahead and make some. Uh, so first we're going to start with the matte medium. I'm going to go to about, uh, let's say about, about here, about where the eye is. Just give this a good shake. Just going to pour that in. So that's pretty good. So next we're going to go with our distilled water. We're going to go almost up to the top here, go to about there. That's good. And now our flow aid. Pretty much just going to go up to the line here, the sort of like corner piece our flow aid perfect Make sure we get this cap on real good and then you want to give this a good shake I'm gonna shake it for a few minutes to really let it get really incorporated together all right so now it's nice and incorporated you'll see it's this white color um, Kind of looks like Elmer's glue, but you can then pour this into your mixing cups, into your airbrush cups, into really anything, and you can mix it with any acrylic paint that you want. So even if you're, you know, I might have like the airbrush black, I might have some dropper bottles of airbrush ready paint, but I could take like you know, whatever, Eschen Gray. I could take this and just mix it with the acrylic medium, get it nice and uh, thin, and then put that through the airbrush and it'll work fine. It will make the color look a little bit different because it's white initially. So you're gonna want to maybe practice a little bit to kind of get used to what co the color looks like in the paint pot or in the cup and then how it dries. But when it dries, it should look the exact same as just the regular paint out of any paint pot. So there we go. I hope that was helpful for anybody who needs some acrylic thinner for their airbrush.